Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. When most people think of Brazil, images of vibrant festivals, stunning beaches, and lush rainforests come to mind. But beneath this colorful exterior lies a rich and intricate history, including royal courts, noble families, and the grandeur of an aristocracy that profoundly shaped the nation. If your genealogical journey leads you into the realm of Brazilian royalty and nobility, you're in for a fascinating exploration of power, prestige, and family lineage. Brazil's brush with royalty began with the arrival of the Portuguese royal family in 1808. Fleeing Napoleon's invasion of Portugal, King João VI relocated the entire court to Rio de Janeiro, transforming the colonial city into the de facto capital of the Portuguese Empire. This unprecedented move brought European royal customs, culture, and governance to Brazil, laying the foundation for the country's brief yet impactful monarchy. In 1822, Dom Pedro I, the son of João VI, declared Brazil's independence from Portugal, establishing the Empire of Brazil, and crowning himself as its first emperor. Brazil was a constitutional monarchy ruled by the House of Braganza for nearly 70 years. If your ancestors were connected to the royal court or held noble titles during this period, their stories are likely intertwined with the dramatic events that shaped the nation's early history. While the monarchy was central to Brazil's political landscape, its nobility played a significant role in its social and economic development. The Brazilian nobility was a mix of Portuguese aristocrats, influential local families, and those granted titles for their service to the empire. The titles of nobility in Brazil, such as Duke, Dukes, Marqueses, Marquises, Condes, Counts, Viscondes, Viscounts, and Barrows, Barons, were often bestowed upon individuals who had demonstrated loyalty to the crown, military valor, or contributions to the economic prosperity of the empire. These titles were not hereditary, meaning they were granted for life but did not automatically pass down to the next generation, making tracing noble lineage intriguing and challenging. Noble families in Brazil wielded considerable influence, not only in politics and economics, but also in cultural and social life. The grand estates, or fazendas of the nobility, were centers of power, where decisions that impacted entire regions were made. These families often had extensive land holdings, particularly in the coffee-rich regions of Sao Paulo and Minas Gerais, and their wealth was tied to the success of Brazil's agricultural exports. Genealogists exploring noble ancestry in Brazil will find that these families often intermarried to consolidate power and wealth creating complex networks of relationships that span generations. Understanding these connections can provide valuable context for your family history, revealing alliances and rivalries that shape the course of your ancestors' lives. Researching Brazilian royalty and nobility is a unique challenge, requiring a mix of historical knowledge, genealogical research skills, and detective work. Here are some tips to help you on your quest. Start with what you know. Begin your research with any known connections to noble titles or royal service in your family tree. Oral histories, family heirlooms, or old photographs might contain clues that point to a noble lineage. Explore historical records. Brazil's National Archives, Arquivo Nacional, holds many documents related to the monarchy and nobility, including decrees, land grants, and court records. These records can provide detailed information about noble titles, land ownership, and family connections. Consult peerage lists and nobility registers. During the Empire of Brazil, official registers of nobility were maintained, listing the aristocracy's names, titles, and honors. These registers can be invaluable for tracing noble ancestors and understanding their place within the social hierarchy. Dig into family archives. Many noble families maintained private archives, including letters, diaries, and other personal documents. If you suspect a connection to a noble family, reaching out to descendants or related families might provide access to these hidden treasures. Utilize online databases. Websites like FamilySearch and MyHeritage offer digitized records that can be searched for noble titles and surnames. While not exhaustive, these databases can provide useful starting points for further research.
Since Brazil's nobility was closely tied to Portugal, researching your noble ancestors may require delving into Portuguese records. The Torre do Tombo National Archive in Lisbon is a key resource for documents related to the Portuguese nobility and their descendants in Brazil. Although the Brazilian monarchy was abolished in 1889 and noble titles ceased to be officially recognized, the legacy of the country's royal and noble families continues to be felt. Many descendants of noble families still hold significant cultural and social influence, and their stories are woven into the fabric of Brazil's national identity. For genealogists, uncovering a connection to Brazilian royalty or nobility is more than just discovering a prestigious lineage. It's an invitation to explore a pivotal chapter in the nation's history. As you trace your family's noble roots, you'll find yourself immersed in the drama, intrigue, and grandeur of Brazil's past, connecting with the lives of ancestors who once walked the halls of palaces and ruled over vast estates. So as you embark on this journey, let your curiosity guide you through the records and stories that bring your noble heritage to life. Who knows what fascinating tales of power, passion, and legacy you might uncover in the annals of Brazil's royal and noble history. Thanks for listening to the Ancestral Findings podcast. Be sure to visit ancestralfindings.com to download a free genealogy ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and sign up for the weekly giveaway. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy searching.